Hello everyone and welcome back to more Mega Man X Blind. And in this episode, we're going to be taking on the last Maverick, which is Flame Mammoth. So he must be some sort of mammoth or elephant, I think, I'm not too sure. Yep, I was right. Well, that's a bit of a weird design. <laughs> Still, should be good. Okay, I already approved the soundtrack immediately at the beginning of the level. That looks pretty sweet. And let me just say, some of the details with some of the upgrades that we get for this game look really defined for the SNES and everything, because you can tell that we're wearing the helmet. You can tell that we've got a new armor upgrade. You know, it's not just, oh, you got this, but sorry, we can't actually show you it because of the number of sprites on screen and stuff. You know, I did actually think about how they can make things improve. What, what was that noise? I heard like some sort of weird noise. What What's going on? Hold on, my sub T. Oh, that must be a sub tank. Hang on. Seems to be that when my energy is full, if I just collect more energy, that recharges it, I guess? I'm not too sure, really. Oh well. But still. I get the feeling there's going to be something... Ah, these things. They remind me of the Hammer Brothers, actually, from Super Mario. <laughs> Super Mario Brothers 3, at least. I guess that's one thing I should talk about, actually. Super Mario Brothers 3! I haven't played the original one on the NES. The one that I've played and own is... Super Mario Advance 4 for the Game Boy Advance and that, so I have never played the original NES version. The only one that I've played is on the Game Boy Advance, where, um... It had voice acting. So, yeah. I just thought I'd point that out. <laughs> so I haven't played the original version. I might do it at some point though, as that was recently released on the Wii U eShop and 3DS eShop actually. I think. Speaking of which, that's one thing. Hold on. How come... You know, with the Game Boy Advance library on the Wii U, how come they can't release it on 3DS, but for some... Hey, an E-Tank. How do I get through here? Do I have to like, burn something? Oh yeah, of course, sorry. <laughs> have to wall jump, of course. Should've known. There we go. Did I just say E-Tank? Sorry, I meant, um... <laughs> what is it? Sub-Tank, yeah. But, as I was saying, we like the Game Advance Library. You know that they can't put it on the, um... 3DS as such? They can put them on the Wii U, but not the 3DS. How come they can put NES games on the 3DS and the Wii U, but not... Game Boy Advance on both. It doesn't really make sense in my opinion. And you know what, actually, I've discovered something. Since I was able to destroy um, the the things over there. Hold on. There we go. Oh, there we go, yeah, I thought so. <laughs> that did look a bit suspicious, because when I found, like, the sub-tank, did, did I just ruin my chance of getting it? I think I did. I should have just continued wall jumping. I bet you there was something decent up there as well. Darn it. Well, I'm not going to take a risk and waste one of my lives in order to get it. I'll just come back to it later. <laughs> but yeah, it's just to find out a little bit weird with like, the Game Boy Advance library, you know? Although, by no means, Game Boy Advance games don't look bad on the Wii U Virtual Console. If anything, they look really good, actually. Almost similar to em emulator quality. That's one thing that I'd definitely recommend the Wii U, Wii U for. If you haven't played a lot of old school games, like the old Mario games and such, pick up a Wii U, because the quality that they come out in when you download them from the eShop and that is brilliant. It's like emulator quality, if not better, because the frame rate's smoother and everything. But anyway, I hope I stop gushing over the Wii U. <laughs> This is Mega Man X here, I should be talking about relevant stuff. Wow, those things return. I remember them being a bit of a pain in Mega Man 2. It's a shame that I missed that thing earlier, because I get the feeling that was going to lead to an upgrade. As I heard there's like an upgrade in this level, which is pretty useful. So, if I missed that, then oh, that's a shame. Also, these things become very easy once you find out how to defeat them. It's more of just wait for them to swing their chain, and then just keep shooting them. Simple. I guess that's the good thing with Mega Man X <laughs> compared to the other Mega Man games. It's a lot easier to pick up the attacks that they're going to do. 
because um, in the original Mega Man games, you know, sometimes they were unpredictable. In my opinion, anyway. And at times she was just like, oh god, he's too fast for me in this. Whereas, with this being on the SNES and that, it's a little bit easier to understand what's going on. Did I... I can't remember if I collected the heart tank. I'm pretty sure I did. But anyway, with that, let's go and fight Flame Mammoth. Because we're already at the end. He's going by fast. <laughs> Whoa, I'm moving automatically here. What's going on? So you must be Flame Mammoth, and you shoot your flames and cause earthquakes, brilliant. And also from the looks of it, you do lots of damage too. Ah, that's a shame. Oh I see, so the tactic is to jump out of the way whenever he does that, gotcha. And of course he's just going to shoot that, and it's not really going to do anything. I might as well just repeatedly spam with Y, because that seems to be doing the trick. I mean, I've got loads of health, you know, what chance has this guy got exactly? He's already nearly dead. I'm guessing though that that's some sort of trap, so I'm going to try and stay clear of that. Yeah, this is the key to defeating the boss, right? just spam Y. That's all it requires. Keep firing. <laughs> this is similar to like my Metroid Fusion LP where when I fought the bosses it was just okay what you want to do is keep firing and keep firing and keep firing and keep firing. <laughs> well that was easily done. I may have done it the cheap method and not finished it properly but I don't care. This is blind. I'd just rather get the game done and play it the way I want to. In my spare time I could find out how to find quick ways to defeat him. So now we get fire waves, sweet. Is that an attack he did? Because I think I was spamming him so much with the Y button <laughs> that I didn't get a chance to see it. Oh well. But that's all of the Mavericks done, so what now? A cutscene. Finally! We found Sigma's fortress. Let's go in and put an end to his war against the humans. Okay, if you want. Oh, so this must be Sigma's stage. Oh, that's where the music comes from. I did think that, because there was stage selection music 1 and stage selection music 2. That must be the Sigma stage. <laughs> Funny, because that down there was Mega Man X, and I thought, what's the point of that there? What does that do? It's just the title, just to show you what the game is. It appears not. But this is what the stage selection thing comes from. Ah, I see. Cool. But anyway, I'm going to go back into Flame Mammoth and try to get this upgrade. Okay, so now let's do this. Right! Yes! Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. That was first time! First time! Awesome. I'm so satisfied. This capsule contains a part... <laughs> I don't know why I gave him that voice. Which will increase the capabilities of your x -Buster. You can use it to fire all types of weapons. So... What, so what, what happens when I step in here then? But, wow! <laughs> that was first time! And I did think that looked suspicious, because I thought, why are there breakable blocks, like, you know, down there, that are reachable with the dash jump? Huh? Ooh! Oh, that looks cool. So now I can... Wait, what? So, wait, what was that? So it shot purple stuff, but now what? What is the point in having those breakable blocks right there if I can't reach them? <laughs> oh, I see. So if you charge for long enough... Yeah, I see. It goes purple and you can release an even more powerful shot. You know what? That's really cool. That is really cool right there. I like that. So satisfied for getting that first time. That was brilliant! <laughs> As I've heard, it's really difficult to get. But... I don't know how I did it, I just thought, eh, it's breakable blocks, might as well dash out, oh hey, look at that! <laughs> yeah, 
because that was my literal reaction. In the next episode of Mega Man X Blind, we will be going onwards to this guy. I get the feeling he's Sigma. Because he's human. I don't know. <laughs> Take care, guys, and I will see you in the next episode.